Welcome everyone. We are back in on, on reading with Joan. And once again this afternoon, uh, I am Joan and my co-hosts are Jemima and Jedida. So this afternoon we'll continue reading our books. And um, Jed, can you remind us your book? Horse the Tartan Cat and the Kitty Cat Pig. One very naughty cat book and a naughty family. <laughs> and Jamie, what's the book you're reading? Science Geek Sam Hans's secret log book. So today we'll set it down and we'll listen to Jemmy and Jed read their book while we enjoy listening to them. Uh, once again, uh, we'll remind you to follow us on our social media platform, like our page, spread the news, and let kids around the globe enjoy reading with us because okay. we love reading with you. Okay. you want to say something? Oh, the links would be in the comments. But uh, while we say all that, we would love Jed uh, to start reading, right? Jed, you have a surprise for us later, don't you? Yes, okay, come on. So let me hold the book so you can read it. Yeah. Dawn, dawn, the wee cross yawned. They were up bright and early to sing of Julius and school a few new things. They crowded. Hold it around the kitchen window and so between making mum's breakfast. A drop of milk on a cornflake. <laughs> Sorry, Manny, Mum. We were half up the night, but we still can't think how to change you back, yawned Ross. That's the trouble with yawning. When somebody or some birdie starts to yawn, Everyone else has to join in. Maybe Cors can help, Don Dyla. He usually stays the day. He hasn't touched his fishy biscuit, beyond the meaning one. That's not like Cors. You want to read it out because I can't hear you. We haven't seen him since yesterday, said Ross. Just before that fishy looking van vanished down the street, trailing a tortoise cat scarf. Very fishy looking, agreed Isla. It was covered in big pictures of fishy biscuits, but the porridge got stuck inside. Maybe that wasn't a tartan scarf. Mini Mum gasped. Maybe it was a tartan tail. Perhaps Horace has been kidnapped, cried Ross. Catsnapped. It's catsnap. Everyone fell silent. He was sure the tale, er, tale was true. The tale, the difference between the tale is tale. T A I L. And then the other one, T L. T-A-L-E. It'll be terrible if he's taken. Right, Ross. More terrible than the time he accidentally swallowed a Christmas tree decoration and got rushed to the wreck with tinsel items. The best way to find Porsche is to find that van, said Isla. But what about making Minimum bigger? added Ross. Oh, finding porridge is far more important, she squeaked. Quite right. And before he said, let's get some paper and pens and make some posters, they got some papers and pens and made some posters, which look exactly very much like this. That's the poster they made. Can you see, it? Right. Can you see? Can you see the poster they made? Missing Tartan Cart! We are looking for the Tartan Cart! Mm -hmm. yeah. Missing Tartan Cart. Answers to the name Porridge, if he can be bothered. Last scene in this van. If you have any information, please contact Ross and I'll make fun. At number 17, Tab, Tatty Trouble Street. 
Taxi for Goose Street? Okay, <laughs> all right, come on. When they were finished, it was time to put them up all over Tatty Boggle's home. Let's do it, said Isla, so they did. Me, Jace, Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> Minnie, Mom, and the twins flew all around town all morning. They were not the only one. The cross flew around to swooping and swooping. Circling and doing proper show of flying as only a bird can do. What about planes? I'm running out of Buster, said Isla. <laughs> I'm running out of pop, gasped Minnie Mum. That dog has lunch. Good idea, said Will. We should just have his own. And jump away, squeak Minnie Man, hitching a ride on a passing floor. Well, they hopped off the pavement onto a step and jumped through an open door. Didn't you go to school with VJ? asked Ross, scooping Mama up and placing her on a table inside. Hey, when I'm pleased, you still are. Over lunch, we can chat about how to make you bigger. I'm hungry. VJ got his skates on and came over very quickly. His four wheel footwear helped him serve customers in super quick time. Hello, VJ, squeaked Minnie Mom, waving at him from an upturned cup. Hi, Paul. You look different. He peered down. His hair is shorter. Oh, it's the rest of me, the mini mom. It's a long story. I am short story. Just you. Mini mom became super short when she ate some super short short bread. I'm still a wee bit hungry. He's opening the neck. I just took a big breath and smelled nothing. Not a soft shit, and if you put this bit to your nose and really sniff, you won't smell sausage either. Probably because this is just a book, an ordinary book about an extraordinary cat. <laughs> Everything on the menu was crossed out apart from the hot cross buns, which were already crossed. That means on the hot. Cross buns, it's cross. All my fresh food has been eating my beasties from the pet shop next door. Said VJ, I keep this place spotless, even with spotty tablecloth. But last week, a customer found a mouse in her mazaka and another had a rat in his ratatouille. 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 It was. Terrible! You mean Wendy's Wendy Pet Shop? Asked Rock. A, the congee one. Okay. <laughs> they must be escaping from the smell. VJ loads his voice. Never go in unless you have a coat or a coat pet. Or an excuse never to go in. We were going to put a a poster there after lunch. Isla showed VJ the picture she had drawn. We think our tartar cat uh, vanished in this van. It looks a bit small, said Joe VJ. How did Porish fit in? Och, this is just a wee drop, said Isla. The real van is much bigger. VJ took the queens and mini mums. Minnie Mom to look out of the window at the back of the cafe. Is it, is it as big as that one over there? Yes! Tyler. Because that is the one we're looking for. Who owns it? BJ explained. My neighbor, Wendy Wendy. She drives the van at night, parks, and parks her behind her pet shop every morning. There's an odd offer at home. Three fishy biscuits, 
the tartan hat only. Okay, we're going to stop there. And oh no, just have three lines. Okay. I am shivering. That does sound fishy. I hope porridge is okay, said Ross. Quick, let's go to the next chapter and check if I am. Okay, so we'll find out if porridge is okay tomorrow because they've detected who has the van that has uh, <laughs> porridge inside the van. Okay. <laughs> then, what's the surprise? Uh, I'm going to play the piano. She's going to play the keyboard, the piano. Okay, hop on. Okay, I'll just turn the camera to her. Okay, can you see her? Good. Okay. Just pause my job. How many? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a hard one. Yeah, so what's the question you have before Jim start reading? Uh, my question is. Uh, what was the name of the person that kidnapped Tartan Cock? Porridge. Porridge. Do you know? Okay. That's another question. What is the name of the cafe owner they went to visit? Do you know? Do you know? Oh no! Any, is it too difficult? Any simpler question yet? Um, yes. Okay, what's the simple question? I know. Oh yes. Um, you can't hear properly. Let me ask again. Where was where was Mini Mom stand? What was Mini Mom standing on? That's what was hard. Mini Mom standing on? That's a hard one. Okay, see, I understand. Okay. Is it a table? Yes. You see a table? Nope. An upturned cup. You said an upturned cup. So do you know my the answer to my question? What was the name of a person that stole Tanti Cat? Porridge. Porridge. Or what is the name of a cafe owner they went to visit? If you know it, kids, drop your comment and you win the point for today's prize. And, um, Jemmy, can you read for us as we listen? So today. We are reading from page 100 and so Rashi's auntie is in the class to be our people's library. People's library. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. We're not reading that. Yeah. Okay. Um I'd feel sorry for a little kid walking in high heels, I said. Not a problem. Those heels would wear down. And if you found them too high, you could sharpen them, couldn't you? Very useful for burglars too. Do you know exactly where they were? Suddenly, the door opened right in front of us. Miss Smith walked in and stared at us with her dark, piercing eyes. What are you doing? she asked sternly. It's hard to say. She asked sternly. Asked, she asked sternly. 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 Asked sternly. 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 <laughs> yeah, go on, continue. <laughs> We just had to take something to the kitchen, I said, for our teacher. Miss Smith raised her left eyebrow. Really? 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 It's true, Miss, Matteo said. He looked at Miss Smith with the biggest smile ever. A smile that makes you think he's the cutest child in the world. All right then, Miss Smith said, but keep quiet in the corridor. Yes, Miss, we said in chorus. Miss Smith slipped back into her classroom and we ran towards the kitchen. I opened the door of the freezer compartment. 
or at least I tried to, but it didn't work. I felt like it was locked. Let me have a go, Matteo said, and he pulled so hard that the door flew open and a plastic bag with frozen mice fell onto the floor. Oh dear. Unfortunately, the bag ripped open and the mice rolled all over the floor. He quickly gathered them up and put them back in the freezer and hurried to the house. There was Auntie Adira in her high heels in front of the whiteboard, holding up her head. Are you a chef? Matteo asked. Auntie Adira laughed. No, I'm not a chef. She's a geography teacher. Yeah, she replied, you sleep there, Lenny. Oh, sorry. She's a teacher, Rachid said proudly. A secondary school. She's a geography teacher. Aren't you, Auntie Adira? Can I eat your egg, Matteo said, because I really love eggs. Auntie Adira shook her head. No because I need the egg to explain something to you. How it can stand up without falling over, I asked. No, I'm going to tell you something about. At that point, the door flew open and Miss Smith stormed in with a furious look on her face. Can someone please tell me what this is? She bellowed. She's holding a dead mouse. Well, she was actually holding him by his tail. <laughs> so he was swinging back and forth. <laughs> Mehmet put up his hand. A mouse! Did you catch him, miss? Matteo shouted. Can we have him? Miss Smith walked towards him and lifted his chin up with her index finger. You know perfectly well that I haven't caught a mouse. It was you who put this mouse in the kitchen. You and that friend of yours, that! She looks at me. Not true, I said, and Matteo said. No way! He fell out of the freezer because the door... What were you after? Hey, giving me a fright? Well, too bad for you. You can't frighten me that easily. Um, Miss Smith, Mr. Nolan said. He tapped Miss Smith on the shoulder. She turned around. What? She snapped. Mr. Nolan looks sheepish. Sheepish. I do think that there is a misunderstanding here. Have a word with you at break time. Well then, Auntie Adira said. Rachid told me that you would be finding out how the others was earth was born and i thought maybe i could tell you a bit more about it she took a spoon out of her bag and tapped the egg watch out esther shouted but it was too late the egg cracked take a good look at this auntie adira said and she showed us the egg it was full of little cracks this is what the earth looks like like an egg luke said he sniffed sure and of course there's a chicken inside too tom snickered Mr. Nolan snapped his fingers. Tom and Luke suddenly... Keep quiet! <laughs> <laughs> he snapped his finger! Keep quiet! Yeah, go read it. <laughs> yeah, read, read it. <laughs> Miss Tom and Luke suddenly looked like model pupils again, as if they found it really interesting. Auntie Adira told us that the earth is just like a hard-boiled egg, but the earth's crust cracked into lots of small pieces. Underneath the crust, we have the earth's mantle, that we the and in the middle of the earth is the core, the egg yolk, where it is mega, mega hot. 6,000 degrees Celsius. Wow. And then suddenly she clapped her hands and said, this is just a theory, now let's apply it. Who's ever tried to dig a tunnel to the other side of the world? All the boys had tried at some point, and three of the girls too. I had done it in reception, in the sand pit. I remember that I got as far as the water pipes, or at least I thought so because the sand is so wet. And was anyone here successful? Auntie Adira asked. Of course, nobody had had any luck, because it's far too far away. The Earth's crust is alone is over 40 kilometers deep. Wow. And after you hit, after that, you hit the Earth's mantle. It's so hot that your drill head would melt instantly, so you can't get any further. He told us that a long time ago, all the continents were stuck together that they had slowly ripped apart and had travelled all across the globe, just like ice flows drifting across the sea, but more slowly. Okay, so today, um, the important fact I learned today... Don't show them because that's going to be our question. I learned some important facts about the earth core, how hot it is. I learned some important facts about the distance of the earth crust, if you remember, you can tell us 
And I also learned some important thing about how it can melt. And most importantly, I learned that the earth was just stuck together, all the continent, and what happened to them? Yet, they drifted apart. They drifted apart. So that is what Antiodora, the geographer, was teaching us today. And I'm so pleased because I love geography. Yes. And I love geography. So kids, Jet, Yemi, what's the question? Question is, how hot is the earth? How hot is, is the, the earth? earth's core? How hot is the earth's core? No, how deep? No. Yeah. How, how hot? deep is the crust? How deep is the crust? Is in it kilometers. deep? In kilometers. How deep is the crust in kilometers? Oh, yeah, I, I, someone is raising up their hand. How mm -hmm. deep is the crust in kilometers? Yeah. Pardon? Um, 45 kilometers. Oh, you Almost. were so close. Almost. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, mom, talk. Oh no! Oh, no, no. Oh god. Oh, yeah. I just going to. I just think something. Let's see. Is it forty-eight kilometers? Oh, oh crack! Oh, no, you are farther away. But now what? Now what? You need okay. to listen. Last to chance. Last chance. Are you? Um, is it forty-seven kilometers? Oh uh, no! Okay, now you have to go and listen to it and tell us the answer because we were so close to it. So the important things we need to find out is how hot is the Earth core. What is the distance of the Earth crust? How deep it is? And what happened to all the continent? So, if you know these answers, you can tell us and win your point for the month. The month is running to the middle, and we're almost getting to the end of the month. And kids, I hope you're enjoying the lockdown because I am enjoying it so well. We, am I enjoying it well? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Yes. That's bad. <laughs> so kids, we really thank you for joining us today. We enjoy reading with you during the stay at home. We are reading with June and we love you. We'll see you tomorrow as we learn more from Auntie Adia about the Earth Cross and what happened. And we learn about what happened to that porridge cat of yours. Where is he? Can you find him? And that crooky little squeaky mom that is hopping everywhere like a mini, 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 mini cat mouse rat. Cat mouse rat. Yeah. Cat mouse <laughs> so, rat. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Really with Joan. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.